हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज हुस लॉ सो आई स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक विथ स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम एज आई अर्लियर डिस्कस्ड इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ स्ट्रेस ट्रेन कर्व सो इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द डायग्राम इज ओ ए वेर द कर्व स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ओ एंड द इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ दिस डायग्राम इज O A and O A is denoting a straight line. O A is a straight line, and the slope of this straight line O A is generally the ratio of stress to strain, and the material behaves elastically in the range of O A, and the slope of this uh, line O A is constant in this particular range. so when the material behave elastically and it exhibit a linear relationship between stress and strain that type of condition is generally called linear elasticity linear elasticity is basically a property of solid materials for example uh, stone concrete metal wood uh, ceramics glass etc there are lot many solid material so uh, the slope of this stress strain diagram oa is generally known as modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity elasticity is generally denoted by capital e this is the slope of stress strain diagram so this will be the ratio of stress by strain we can write it stress equivalent to e into eta here we can write stress is proportional to strain also because e is a constant element so we can write stress is proportional to strain so the equation p or the stress equal to e into eta is generally known as hooke's law this is known as hooke's law hooke's law is p is stress equivalent to e into eta is named after the famous english scientist robert hooke who uh, who was the uh, first person who introduced uh, elastic behavior of material like metal wood uh, stone concrete etc so uh, robert hooke uh, robert hooke uh, invented uh, the elastic behavior of material and he also invented hooke's law so uh, in this equation uh, stress equal to e into eta e is the modulus of elasticity uh, it is generally uh, also known as uh, constant of proportionality constant of proportionality is defined as the intensity of stress that caused unit strain intensity of stress that caused unit strain the dimension of e is equivalent to dimensions of stress or the unit of e is equivalent to unit of stress why because strain is a unit less quantity that is why the unit of e is equivalent to unit of p in 1807 uh, uh, scientist uh, thomas young introduced uh, constant of proportionality or young's modulus of elastic uh, elasticity which later come to known as young's modulus of elasticity here if we replace if we replace this stress equal to force per unit area p equal to uh, small p equal to p by a and eta equal to change in dimension by original dimension or change in length by original length then what will be the equation what will be the equation e equal to p by a divided by del by l so this will be equivalent to del by l equal to p uh, by del by l equal to p uh, by a e or we can write del equal to p l by a e that is also equivalent to stress l by e small p l by e so according to this equation we can say Uh, most of the metal have high value of e since the value of strain is less so in that condition uh, we can say the value of e is inversely proportional to value of strain so
So this was all about Hooke's law. Thank you.